<laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video today, folks. Today we see empty shelves in the Walmart stores, and we run into a pack of wild dogs out in the desert. State of the end to see my tribute to when I met Kenny Rogers. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. <laughs> well, we're all done with the tires. And uh, since I'm already in town, we're going to go in and see if we can't pick up some things here at Walmart. If they still have anything on the shelves. <laughs> well, I'll give you two guesses which aisle this is. <laughs> And the first guess doesn't count. Oh yeah, that's right. It's the toilet paper aisle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even the refrigerated. Just wiped out. People are just stocking up. It's insane. My, my, oh my. Look at that. That's the juices and the dairy. Holy smoky, smoly hokey. <laughs> Some other refrigerated area. Looks like eggs. Looks like the eggs are just totally wiped out. Pizzas, still some, not many. Empty, 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 empty. Pork roast, hamburger steak, boneless chicken, chicken breast. Empty, empty, empty. Well, this plant is pretty interesting. It's got a uh, sea level marker up there. This is the uh, second Walmart. And the shelves over here are just as empty as they were at the first Walmart. The bleach aisle is wiped clean, people using that to disinfect. Amazing. <clears throat> and this, of course, is the toilet paper aisle. Crazy. This is the uh, cleaner aisle. Excuse me, please. It's the uh, rice and the beans. This is the uh, soup aisle. Excuse me. The dog food aisle. People want to make sure that their pets eat. Don't forget to stay to the end, friends, to hear my story about the time I met Kenny Rogers. God's promise is still good. His rainbow is still in the sky. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> well, behind me, you might see the Millennium Falcon back there in the tracker. Bandit uh, insisted on uh, being taken for a walk. I wasn't really in the mood to do that or ready to do that. And so uh, we got uh, partway out into the desert here and, and decided, well, shoot, I guess I should maybe uh, shoot a little video clip of this and uh, in case something interesting comes up. So... Off we go. <laughs> We've seen uh, a lot of holes in the ground all over the desert, mostly uh, holes uh, for geckos, but this is a little different. This is a freshly dug hole, or at least freshly dug out. You can see the uh, 
the scrape marks of the claws. And I suspect that this is uh, a hole for a den for a desert fox. Uh, I've been told that uh, there are foxes that uh, live right out here and uh, they uh, build dens and have their babies, their kits. And John, one of my neighbors, says that uh, apparently he and his lady uh, feed them and uh, they come in quite close to his RV. Now look at the size of that hole. That's about uh, the size of a grapefruit right there. That's a lot bigger than uh, what a gecko needs. Well, this is pretty interesting. It's kind of a barren wasteland, uh, not much in the way of creosote bushes or mesquite trees or even uh, any ground cover. Um, it looks like it's uh, used for uh, four-wheeling. And so uh, eventually uh, I'll probably end up getting out here in my tracker and uh, checking it out with that. Do a little four-wheeling of my own. <laughs> As this pack of dogs passed by me, Bandit was hidden, and so he didn't bark at them. And uh, one of them still turned and looked my way. It looked like he saw me. I was a little unsettled. So after I saw these guys, it was time to head back to the Millennium Falcon. Well, here's a little clip of my uh, camping spot in, in Slab City. You can see the Millennium Falcon in the tracker over there in the distance, and you can see the firing uh, there to the left foreground. And uh, you can see the, uh, the designation of uh, property lines so-called uh, going out that way and going out that way you can see behind the millennium falcon out into the desert it's uh no other campers out there it's wild and uh untamed and over this way you can see some of the uh, the recreational vehicles that people live in full time and some of the slab city community that's out there at a distance. Uh, the closest ones to me are probably uh, 200 yards away. And where those uh, flags are right there, that is a neighborhood called the Lowe's, Loners on Wheels community, uh, and uh, uh, that's a, a neighborhood of, uh, of old folks, basically. Singer, actor, and warm human being, Kenny Rogers died this week at the age of 81. Kenny was always one of my favorites. He wasn't Pavarotti, but his gravelly yet smooth voice was earthy and real, and I even liked his movies for their positive message and goodness. I met Kenny in 1990. He was singing at one of the venues of the now-defunct Goodwill Games in Seattle, and I was his senior executive chauffeur. I drove him through Seattle in a super-stretched limousine, and it was exciting following the police motorcycles through the red lights over sidewalks around obstacles. Kenny was awesome. Unlike many celebrities that I'd driven for, he treated me like we were good friends, though we had just met, and we talked about music. He talked glowingly of the talent and the voice of the then-rising star Michael Bolton, and how he expected great things of him. 
It was wonderful to hear the melodious tones of Kenny's strong voice as he warmed up his throat in preparation for the event, my own concert. And at the end of the day, as I dropped him on the tarmac in front of his private jet, he warmly shook my hand and thanked me for a job well done. And generous to a fault, he reached into his pocket and pulled out a $20 tip for me. Man, in 1990, that was kind of like a hundred today. Kenny was a star, a real star, but more importantly, he was a warm and generous human being, and the world is poorer for his passing. Somewhere in the darkness, the gambler he broke even, but in his final words I found an ace that I could keep. R.I.P. Kenny. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Well, friends, thanks for watching our video today and for staying clear to the end to see my tribute to one of my favorite stars, Kenny Rogers. If you like the video, please remember to subscribe and click the bell for future notifications. Thanks a lot.